is headquartered where or ap the godavari river management board is at headquartered where so details which are clear ga prati okati teliyali this is very very important and you can expect a question on this part because this has been highly controversial since the day of telangana agitation one point strongly raised against it is river water disputes finished now take down write down apex council first take down about the apex council i'm giving you all the details related to this here only please write down about the apex council okay section 84 of part 9 section 84 of part 9 deals with the apex council apex council okay i'll tell you in the form of points so that you remember them the way they can be asked take down the first one purpose what is the purpose of the council put a dash and write down supervision of supervision of supervision of the functioning of supervision of the functioning of supervision of the functioning of the godavari river management board godavari river management board and krishna river management board and krishna river management board krishna river management board okay take down composition who will be there in the apex council how many members will be there three membered council uh, composition three membered council now who are the three members please write them in sub points minister of water resources minister of water resources government of india chair person is important who heads the apex council can be asked minister of water resources government of india chair person write it as chair person he will head the council okay next second cm of cm of ap member cm of ap put a dash and write down member third cm of ts member so three members central minister is the head two members one will be the cm of ap the other will be the cm of telangana take down next functions of the council functions of the council third point functions of the council you've written purpose you've written composition now you're writing the functions what will be the responsibilities of the council take down the first point supervision of the functioning of supervision of the functioning of supervision of the functioning of the godavari river management board godavari river management board and krishna river management board second planning and approval of proposals planning and approval this function is very very important planning and approval of proposals 
for construction of new projects for construction of new projects on godavari or krishna projects on godavari or krishna godavari or krishna after after getting the projects after getting the projects reviewed and recommended by after getting the projects reviewed and recommended by the river management boards reviewed and recommended by the river management boards and the central water commission central water commission central water commission now if at all you want to construct a new projects and which two rivers krishna or godavari what is the procedure to be followed the projects must be first reviewed and recommended by whom by the river management board and central water commission only after this they will be forwarded to the apex council now what will the apex council will do with these project proposals it has to first approve okay agree to the proposal and then plan for its execution plan for its execution are you clear with this any new projects you are proposing on krishna or godavari the proposal must be first approved reviewed recommended and a simple it should be approved by the water management board and the central water commission but final approval will be given by the apex council once you approve you also have to plan for its execution in order to prevent any future disputes because the apex council has both the cms as members so if you approve it for once you cannot go back and say dispute on the approval okay make a note of this this point is extremely important so if they ask you in your exam who will finally approve any new project on krishna or godavari who will finally approve apex council who is responsible for planning of any new projects apex council plan will be reviewed they will say whether it is feasible or not whether it should be done or not but they will not plan the execution of the project planning for the execution will be done by the apex council finish now take down third function you finish with the second one the third one resolution of any dispute resolution of any dispute arising out of resolution of any dispute arising out of sharing of river waters arising out of sharing of river waters please underline river waters because in this point they do not specify if it is krishna or godavari they simply say sharing of river waters it could be any other river so write down sharing of river waters through negotiations through negotiations and mutual agreement negotiations and mutual agreement 
mutual agreement between the successor states negotiations and mutual agreement between the successor states between the successor states mutual agreement between the successor states last one last function any dispute which is not covered which is not covered under the krishna water disputes tribunal any dispute which is not covered under the krishna water dispute tribunal or any other tribunal or any other tribunal to be constituted to be constituted under the interstate river water disputes to be constituted under the interstate river water disputes can also be referred interstate river water disputes act 1956 interstate river water disputes act 1956 can also be referred can also be referred to the council to the council the point is very simple if there is any dispute which is not referred to any tribunal that dispute can be referred to the council for example you have an existing project going on and there is a dispute on the construction or the level of the project it can be resolved by the apex council okay take down the next one section 85 section 85 deals with deals with the constitution and functions of constitution and functions of the river constitutions uh, constitution and functions of the river management board constitution and functions of the river management board section 84 is important section 85 the numbers are very very important okay take down write down the first point two river ma river management boards two river management boards one for the one for river krishna one for river krishna and the other for river godavari and the other for river godavari shall be constituted underline the word shall it is mandatory that they are appointed shall be constituted by whom the question is by whom who will appoint the river management boards president central government both states together it is the central government shall be constituted by the central government underline central government please shall be constituted by the central government within a period of 60 days underline 60 days within a period of 60 days from the date of appointment period of 60 days from the date of appointment period of 60 days from the date of appointment okay now take down purpose of the boards purpose of the boards what will be the purpose of the boards write down administration regulation administration regulation maintenance and operation of administration regulation maintenance and operation of projects specified by the central government operation of projects specified by the central government specified by the central government okay next headquarters headquarters 
Godavari River Management Board, Telangana, Krishna River Management Board, AP. Godavari River Management Board, Telangana, Krishna River Management Board, AP. Okay. Now the next question is, what will be the nature of these boards? Ante, will they be independent organizations or will they be supervised by somebody? The supervision of these boards will be with the central government. So please write down next point. Both the boards will work, both the boards will function as, both the boards will function as autonomous bodies. Autonomous bodies, please underline autonomous bodies under the administrative control. Autonomous bodies under the administrative control of the central government. Autonomous bodies under the administrative control, please underline administrative control. Administrative control of the central government. Now what do you mean by this? All people to the boards will be appointed by the central government. However, the expenditure of the boards will be borne by the state government. Okay, take down. Composition of the boards. Composition of the boards. Okay, it is, write down the first point, composition of the boards. The first point, chairman not below. Chairman not below the rank or level of Chairman not below the rank or level of Secretary Rank or level of Secretary or additional Secretary Secretary or additional Secretary To the government of India Secretary or additional secretary to the government of India. Please underline secretary or additional secretary to the government of India. Put a dash and write down appointed by the central government. Appointed by the central government. So within this point you have two points. What is the qualification required to be the chairman of the water management board? You should be a secretary or additional secretary cadre. Who will select you? The central government. Now take down the second point. Two members to be nominated. Two members to be nominated by each of these states. Two members to be nominated by each of the, st of the two states. Or each of the two states. Okay, put a dash and write down. Of which one shall be a technical member. Two low, one be technical member and the other will be a administrative member. Now when you say technical member in a river management board, what should be his qualification? Engineer, isn't it? So he should be of the rank of chief engineer. Okay. These two members are nominated by the state. So from each state you will have two. So how many members in all? Four members. One will be technical. One will be administrative. For technical, what is the uh, qualification? Rank of chief engineer. Make a note of this. Two members from each state, so it will be four members in total. After you write the composition, you tell me what will be the total strength of the board. Inka gaale da ya, complete avale din kunna ro. Manam story madhyal hunna, inka kontha mandu hunna rakda. Ay pen da? Take down the next point. One expert to be nominated by the central government. One expert to be nominated by the central government.
and the last one full time member secretary one full time member secretary not below the rank of chief engineer not below the rank of chief engineer in the central water commission in the central water commission to be appointed by to be appointed by the central government to be appointed by the central government now tell me how many members in each board you are done now tell me it will be one chairperson appointed by whom by the central government what is the qualification secretary or additional secretary okay then you will have four members two from one state two from the other state within this two one will be a technical member the other will be a administrative member administrative member qualifications are not given but technical member qualification will be chief engineer right now the plus 1 appointed by whom central government what is the qualification it says only an expert it does not tell us what it is plus last one what will be this one member be he will be a member secretary and what will who will appoint central government what are the qualifications required yes chief engineer where in the central water commission okay now tell me how many in total 7 so we'll write it as 1 plus 5 plus 1 one chairman one member secretary five members make a note of this id okati gurtu pettukunte chal this is very very important i repeat this section you will get a question so please by heart all this carefully stop talking and write down finish writing i should stop writing on the board totally sagam mandi mundu raskuntaru sagam mandi tarvata rastara rasna vala kaam gunda buddhi gaadu they start talking
finished writing now take down the next one in day to day management of reservoirs in day to day management of reservoirs in day to day management of reservoirs the board the boards shall be assisted by in day to day management of the reservoirs the boards shall be assisted by cisf what is cisf center central industrial security force this point is important please underline cisf day to day maintenance of reservoir ante how much limit should be maintained avanni manage cheyadaniki they will be supported by the cisf okay underline cisf now take down the functions of the board shall include the functions of the board shall include functions of the board shall include please write them in points the regulation of supply of water the regulation first one write in points shall include and jeppi write it in points the regulation so the regulation of supply of water from the projects water from the projects to the states on the basis of to the states on the basis of now what is the basis for supply of water the basis should be either award of a tribunal okay or an agreement between the two states so the basis will be if you have tribunal award it will be tribunal award if you have an agreement between the two states it will be on the basis of the agreement make a note of this both are different tribunal will be atla ledu tribunal unnanka agreement scope undadu priority will be given to the tribunal's decision ఎప్పుడైనా ట్రిబ్యునల్ దే ఫైనల్ ట్రిబ్యునల్ కాకుండా అగ్రిమెంట్ ఉంటే అగ్రిమెంట్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రయారిటీ విల్ ఆల్వేస్ బీ ద ట్రిబ్యునల్స్ డిసిషన్ ఓకే ఓన్లీ వెన్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో ట్రిబ్యునల్ డిసిషన్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ స్కోప్ ఫర్ అన్ అగ్రిమెంట్ ఓకే సెకండ్ the supply of power generated the supply of power generated the supply of power generated on the basis of any agreement on the basis of any agreement made by the united ap agreement made by the united ap and any other state or territory any other state or territory now what is the meaning of this it simply means that if at all see earlier when ap was united we had made several power sharing agreements have you heard of this power sharing agreements ante we provide them with power power sharing agreements with different states now what will happen to all these agreements these agreements will continue to be in force and it will be the responsibility of the river management board to ensure that the supply of the power continues to the states on the basis of the agreement okay take down the next point the construction of the construction of construction of ongoing projects construction of ongoing projects or new works ongoing projects or new works 
connected to with the connected with the development of the water resources development of water resources development of water resources as specified as specified in the gazette as specified in the gazette now what do you mean by this in the gazette they will specify what all projects ongoing projects will be supervised by the river management boards this is with reference to existing projects if at all any new projects are approved then it will be very clearly directed by the government that these new projects will be the responsibility of the river management board i think the ongoing projects are clearly mentioned in schedule schedule 11 will give you the list of ongoing projects which will be supervised by the river management board so please take down the list of ongoing projects which are the responsibility of river management board as given under schedule 11 right there put a note and write down the the following the following ongoing projects the following ongoing projects listed under schedule 11 of the act listed under schedule 11 of the act will be supervised by the river management boards will be supervised by the river management boards okay now take down the names of the projects i'm only giving you the names beside you should add whether it is on krishna or godavari and which state it is being constructed take down the names first one handri neva second telugu ganga handri neva project second మీ భాషలో దీన్ని ఏమంటారు సెకండ్ తెలుగు గంగ తెలుగు గంగ థర్డ్ గాలేరు నగరి గాలేరు నగరి ఫోర్ వెనిగొండ విఈ ఎన్ఈజిఓన్ డియు v e n e it's better i write them id itlage undi din peru ide undi ap reorganization act lo nen pettina peru kada adi okay kalvakurthi this at least you should be able to write kalvakurthi the last one enochne 6 now what are you going to add to this pakake river name of the river okay that is the name of the project now continue and write down and you please add it then pakkana raskondi name of the project tarvata river where they are being constructed river tarvata location name of project tarvata river location part of ap geography okay third function aipindi kada now take down the fourth function any new 
any proposal for a new project any proposal for the new for a new project on the two rivers any proposal for a new project on the two rivers must be technically must be given technical clearance must be given technical clearance by the boards this i have already told you must be given technical clearance by the boards any proposal should be first cleared by the board only then it will be approved by the apex council okay take down the next one other functions other functions as specified as specified by the central government as specified by the central government on the basis of the principles on the basis of the principles given in schedule 11 on the basis of the principles given in schedule 11 now what is schedule 11 and what is section 85 now 85 will give you the list of functions okay this is given under section 85 however how are you going to implement or carry forward this functions is given on the basis of the principles given under schedule 11 in other words while while performing these functions you have to follow the principles given under schedule 11 so basically these are the functions assigned to the river water management boards and these functions are limited or based on the principles given under schedule 11 for example now if there is a dispute in which we say should irrigation be given more priority or sanitation be given more priority the dispute is about you have limited water for what you will you use will you use it for irrigation or sanitation then the principles in schedule 11 will tell you that irrigation should be given more priority over sanitation similarly if it is about decision decision between irrigation and drinking water then it says drinking water should be given more priority over irrigation so how do you implement these functions will be based on the principles given under schedule 11 are you clear with this now write down schedule 11 principles schedule 11 principles governing the functioning of principles governing the functioning of the river management boards principles governing the functioning of river management boards okay now write down first principle the awards given by the awards given by the krishna water disputes tribunal awards given by the krishna water disputes tribunal will be binding will be binding on the two states will be binding on the two states now how is this related to the functioning of the river management board why is this a principle how is it related to the functions of the river management board what do you mean by award what does it mean what what does the tribunal tell the states how much water should be retained and how much water should be given off to the other state now what is the role of river management board in this it will check what levels of waters are water is maintained and how much is actually being left out and when it is checking the reservoirs the level maintained and water to be released it should follow what it should follow the award given by the tribunal that is the first principle now take down the second principle in the event of in the event of a conflicting demand in the event of a conflicting demand 
of water demand of water for irrigation and power for irrigation and power for irrigation and power irrigation and power now what do you mean by this if there is a demand for both irrigation and power then which one should the management board choose it should choose irrigation over power make a note of this if there is a conflict of whether the water should be used for irrigation or power always irrigation should be given priority over power finish third point the same point if the question is between irrigation and drinking water then what will get a priority drinking water will be given priority over irrigation they have to give priority to drinking water over irrigation this is the third principle take down the next point while the successor states while the two states while the two states shall be responsible for management shall be responsible for the management of natural calamities what is the most common natural calamity that you get based on rivers here floods and so on shall be responsible for the management of natural calamities please underline management of natural calamities underline state government okay now within the management of natural calamities in what all areas will the boards assist or recommend to the state government comma the boards shall advise the boards shall advise put a comma and write down the boards shall advise the two state governments the two state governments on on write it as a separate sub point management of disaster management of disaster or drought management of disaster or drought or floods disaster drought floods in the rivers of krishna and godavari in the rivers of krishna and godavari if at all the natural calamity is with regard to river krishna or godavari the board will advise but overall natural calamities management is the responsibility of the state government take down the next point the board the board shall have the authority the board shall have the authority to get their orders implemented shall have the authority to get their orders implemented by the state government by the state government in the following matters in the following matters now this point tells us two things one is the the board will have the right to issue orders in these matters it will also have the right to ensure that the orders are followed take down what are the matters the first one reservoirs maintenance of reservoirs maintenance of reservoirs second works related to maintenance of reservoirs second works related to hydel power projects hydel power projects third 
works related to dams works related to dams hydel power projects dams okay works related to dams any order given by the management board they will have the power to issue orders and the government must enforce those orders take down the next one no new project this we have already completed anyways write down no new project no new project can be started project can be started no new project can be started without can be started without the approval the approval and review approval and review of the river management board review of the river management board and the final sanction approval and review of the river management board and final sanction from who the apex council on what river water resources the apex council on river water resources river water resources now the last question see so many decisions have been made what if the state governments do not follow the decision should there be any penalty or not there will be a penalty now write down in case of non implementation of the decisions in case of non implementation of the deci decision non implementation of the decisions by either states the state the state shall face financial and other penalties the state shall face financial and other penalties please underline financial and other penalties imposed by whom president supreme court water tribunal central government imposed by the central government imposed by the central government this point is very important they will have the right to penalize if the decisions are not followed it is basically a safeguard to ensure that there are no future disputes once decided you have to implement the decision okay now let's get back where where did i stop is schedule kante mundu i think i gave you the powers kada we finish with the functions of the board then i gave you the principles governing the working of the board now take down what about the finances of the board who will bear the expenditure of the board will the board have any other staff avale office open cheskoni vale table durchukoni vale gurchuntara they will have staff now who will bear the responsibility of this staff take down the board the board shall have the power the board shall have the power the board shall have the power to recruit the staff necessary to recruit the staff necessity necessary necessary for for discharging its functions for discharging its functions okay the expenses of the boards the expenses of the boards shall be shared the expenses of the boards shall be shared between between the two states between the two states in the proportion in the proportion decided in the proportion decided by the central government by the central government please underline two states 
because the expenditure will be shared by the states but administrative control is whose who will control these boards controlled by the center expenditure shared by the states now take down the 11 12th schedule hurry up we have to finish the schedules now sure 12th schedule deals with deals with matters relating to matters relating to coal oil and gas and power coal oil and gas and power coal oil and gas and power take down section 92 section 92 of part 10 section 92 of part 10 states that states that matters relating to matters relating to coal oil and natural gas coal oil and natural gas and power generation power generation power generation transmission and distribution power generation transmission and distribution will be implemented will be implemented as per the provisions of the 12th schedule as per the provisions of 12th schedule as per the shed provisions of 12th schedule okay now this point this schedule is important what is the decision with regard to coal oil and gas and power coal ante what comes in question singareni colonies now how is the coal of singareni colonies distributed is it distributed or not or is it completely allocated to telangana completely allocated to telangana no distribution for ap good write down first coal take down coal out of the total equity of singareni colonies total equity of singareni colonies total equity of singareni colonies 100% lo it says 51% and 49% 59 and 51% will be the right of the ts 49% will be accorded to the government of india government of india okay now take down oil and gas oil and gas oil and gas now as far as oil and gas is concerned there are two things one is who will get royalty on production of oil and gas what is royalty the amount paid for this to the state government by the company which is actually producing the oil for allowing it so who will get the royalty on production the second is who will decide which company will be allocated the right to produce or take oil from that particular place which company will get the first point royalty will be given on the basis of territory what do you mean by this if it is located if the production is done in ts ts will get the royalty if the production is done by the in the ap uh, state the royalty will be given to the ap government as far as allocation of this is concerned it will be on the basis of the principles or rules made by whom of central government however there have been certain allocations which are already done what will happen to those all allocations allocations already 
done will continue no change kg basin will continue there will not be any change in these allocations make a note of this now finish now take down power power now within power you have agencies that produce agencies that are responsible for distribution and agencies that manage the load how will these be allocated to both the states take down the first one units of ap genco units of ap genco shall be divided shall be divided please underline ap genco shall be divided on the basis of on the basis of the geographical location on the basis of the geographical location the geographical location of the power plants on the basis of the geographical location of the power plants please underline geographical location okay now take down the andhra pradesh electricity regulatory commission the andhra pradesh electricity regulatory commission apercc in short andhra pradesh Regula electricity regulatory commission apercc formed for the united ap formed for the united ap shall function shall function as a joint regulatory body and it will regulate for both the states joint regulatory body underline aperc underline joint regulatory body for a maximum period of 6 months underline 6 months for a maximum period of 6 months please underline 6 months timelines are important for a maximum period of 6 months within which within which each state must form its own electricity regulatory commission within which each state must form its own elect electricity regulatory commission from this point you please remember aperc will not continue to function after 6 months it is neither allocated to telangana nor to ap each state will have its own commission okay take down the next one the existing state load dispatch center the existing state load dispatch center in brackets sldc state load dispatch center this will basically manage the load taken by the state state load dispatch center in brackets sldc sldc shall function for both states shall function for both state 
for a maximum period of for a maximum period of please underline 2 years maximum period of 2 years maximum ante within 2 years as and when they establish their own authority it will stop functioning but maximum it can function is 2 years so please underline 2 years underline sldc and write down within which within which within which each state must set up its own within which each state must set up its own sldc must set up its own sldc okay now as far as power transmission is concerned there are certain lines within with, that are exist within the territory of the state but there will be certain lines which pass from one state to the other now what will you do with those lines which pass from telangana to ap or ap to telangana who will have the right to regulate those lines within the state ante very easy a state lunte a state can interstate connections untai vaatine em cheddam central government both states together who will regulate them interstate transmission lines write down transmission lines of ap transco transmission lines of ap transco of 132 kv please underline 132 kv and higher voltage and higher voltage cutting across cutting across the two states ante interstate lines be cutting across the two states in brackets interstate lines cutting across the two states in brackets interstate lines shall be shall be considered as interstate transmission system shall be considered as interstate transmission system ists interstate transmission system ists and will be and will be under the control of the central government will be under the control of the central government okay take down the next one now what about allocation of power this is very very important what will be the basis for allocation of power generated in the state yes allocation of power united ap has been provided uh, has been producing an x amount of power now this is divided into ap and ts how will you divide this x amount of power on the basis of usage for how many years will you check 5 years 6 years 10 years it is on the basis of allocation is on the basis of usage over the last 5 years this is the most important point as far as power generation is concerned on the basis of usage which will be decided over the last 5 years make a note of this allocation of power allocation of power to the two states will be on the basis of to the two states will be on the basis of the actual energy consumption will be on the basis of the actual energy consumption in brackets usage on the basis of the actual energy consumption in brackets usage over the last please underline 5 years over the last 5 years okay now usually when you have surplus power you tend to sell okay now the clause says if at all any of the two states have surplus power the first right to buy it will be with the other state take down for a period of 10 years for a period of 10 years please underline 10 years
the successor state that has the successor state that has a deficit of electricity that has a deficit of electricity deficit of electricity shall have the first right shall have the first right of refusal shall have the first right of refusal please underline right of refusal for the purchase of surplus power for the purchase of surplus power from the other successor state for purchase of surplus power surplus power from the other successor state from the other successor state now what do you mean by this it simply means that if at all one state has surplus power for example you imagine that ts has surplus power it can it should only sell it to ap only when ap says no refuses to buy this power then ts can look for an alternative option it is mandatory that power surplus state should always sell it to the power deficit state within the two states okay that is the point now take down the last one in this write down the districts of anantapur and karnool please underline anantapur and karnool it is a factual piece of information the district of anantapur and karnool which which fall anantapur and karnool which fall under the jurisdiction of under the jurisdiction of ap central power distribution company under the jurisdiction of ap central power distribution company central power distribution company limited company limited will be reassigned to will be reassigned to the ap south power distribution company will be reassigned to the ap south power distribution company limited ap south power distribution company limited question will be on the two names of the two districts which have been reassigned so the names of the districts is important okay i'll stop here i will continue with the reorganization act tomorrow i think i need one more hour after which i'll start with current affairs of january once i finish with january current affairs i'll come back with the bifurcation part okay